So today we're going to talk about uric acid kidney stones and the ketogenic diet. Now, if someone's going to get a stone on the ketogenic diet, chances are they're going to have more of a uric acid stone versus an oxalate stone. Okay. So let's just first talk about uric acid. There are several reasons why your uric acid can increase, whether it's going to turn into a stone or a gout. Um, number one, it's high protein diet. Okay. Too much protein. Well, you don't have to worry about that with the ketogenic diet because we're going to do moderate amounts of protein. Number two, fructose can greatly increase uric acid. Don't have to worry about that on our program. So that can be eliminated or a high sugar situation. High carbohydrate diets have a tendency to increase uric acid. Again, we don't have to worry about that because we're doing low sugar. And this is why a lot of diabetics have higher levels of uric acid because of this connection. But with the ketogenic diet, it's a little bit different. You have two things. One, the environment of the body becomes slightly more acidic. Okay. And that's usually where the uric acid crystals can come out of solution and form. But there's one little piece of the puzzle that I want to bring up. And it's very, very important. When you do ketosis, you lose sodium. Okay. You have lower amounts of sodium. And anytime the sodium goes lower, your uric acid can spike. Okay. This is why people on diuretics, for example, thiazides, one of the side effects is gout because low sodium diets promote uric acid. Okay. So if you want to prevent kidney stones, one of the things you want to do is make sure each day, one teaspoon of sea salt. Okay. Now, this is for people on the ketogenic diet. If you're doing a high carbohydrate diet, I don't recommend even that much. You need lower amounts, but I'm talking about if you're doing a healthy ketogenic program, make sure you consume one teaspoon of sea salt each day because it not only will help uh, keep this in check, but it does a lot of other things as well. It can prevent muscle fatigue, keto flu, and a lot of other symptoms. All right. Thanks for watching. So I hope you're coming to the Keto Health Summit coming up in October. So I want to quickly comment on what we're going to do that's different from other conventions. Okay. The problem with these other conventions is they give you information overload. Okay. It's so much data that you're basically swimming in a sea of information. Uh, we're going to do things very differently. We're only going to cover the most important things that make a huge difference. Now there are three very powerful strategies that we're going to be talking about at the summit that you will not find in any of my YouTube videos. Number one is on memory. I'm going to be showing you something very cool to dramatically increase your memory in concentration. That's going to blow you away. And number two, I'm going to show you how to increase your stress tolerance. So you are completely calm all the time. All right. And number three, and most importantly, if you have a slow metabolism, if you've dieted for a long time and everything is kind of just really slow, I'm going to show you how to get complete control over your metabolism. So you can literally turn up the dial as high as you want and control as much weight as you want to lose. And these three things are just a tiny bit of what you're going to learn in the summit. So click the link below, get signed up and I will see you in October.